Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over the new and exciting news that we have for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on both the Nintendo Switch and on PC via Steam. PlayStation, Xbox, and PC Windows players will be able to get their hands on the content we'll be covering today at a later date. And today we're going to be checking out one of the two brand new event quests that Capcom decided to drop as part of the fourth free title update. Remember that about a month ago where I covered pretty much all of the 15th available event quests that we have specifically for this fourth free title update, we went over uh, pretty much the fact that there's going to be a lot of weeks where we end up getting double event quests of kind of like drops. And this is specifically another one of those. And interestingly enough, we got, I think, two interesting quests, but for very different reasons. Today, we're going to be checking out the first one simply called Dance of the Cherry Blossoms. If you still don't necessarily know how to get your hands on any sort of event quest, all you need to do is make your way down to the Steelworks or Elgato, speak to the Courier Cats, and go all the way down to the add-ons options and claim anything that's labeled in white, be it free downloadable item packs, free event quests, free armors, or anything along those lines that you haven't necessarily picked up before certainly do that if you haven't done so already one of those event quests is going to be dance of the cherry blossoms that's going to be putting you up against two mitsutsunes at the shrine ruins now this is just a typical uh, master rank six star uh, event quest so these are not anomaly investigations mitsutsunes or anything like that which is you know a little bit of a bummer i've discussed that in the past i do think that at the very least anomaly investigation event quest would go a long way, especially if they end up to try, deciding to drop one, maybe at a later date, maybe at the after the fifth free title update or part of the as part of the fifth free title update, they decide to drop one with extra, you know, bonus uh, rewards, bonus points, so people can grind up a little bit faster. Certainly, that would be one excellent way to go about uh, making sure that people get their grind on relatively fast but uh, this quest is just simply going to be two master rank mitsuzunes in the shrine ruins typically they're not going to be that much dangerous if you are you know basically having a couple of gunners on your team pierce kind of shreds this thing um, it's not really going to ever put up a fight if you have a couple of elemental or just normal piercing gunners uh, these things will relatively go down in a heap and I think it's funny that we're getting a, just a normal Mitsuzune event quest when uh, just a few weeks ago we got the Violet Mitsuzune Hazard event quest, which I think is one of the best quests that we've gotten probably in a long time, certainly as part of the event quest for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's certainly one of those event quests that uh, certainly gave a lot of people a little bit of a challenge. And at the end of the day, I think it's one of the best quests we've received period so this feels a little bit of a downgrade realistically speaking when it comes to that but if you're still hunting for rewards or anything like that maybe you're crafting some mitsuzune armor certainly is a one of those uh, quests that you want to be able to take your uh, be able to take on and be able to get those rewards at the same time though uh the event quest doesn't really give you anything great what you do end up getting is crowns if you're looking for a big or a small crown there's a pretty good chance you're going to be able to get that with this specific quest but other than that there's no layered armor, there's no gestures, there's no nothing specifically tied to this quest. So it does feel a little bit underwhelming in that regard. That's why I mentioned at the top of the video, I do think maybe providing some anomaly investigation versions of these quests would go a long way since these monsters are relatively easy to farm. You can take them down pretty easily, even in anomaly investigation versions of themselves and giving you a chance to be able to get the grind on anomaly investigation through these quests even as part of the event quest would go a long way i don't really know who they are catering to with these quests i guess that is the reason why they're dropping two event quests at any one given time that they are just you know giving us one quest that is kind of a little bit of a throwaway and the other quest is really the true I guess example of an event quest that is perhaps worthwhile doing so i'm certainly going to be making a separate video talking about the other event quest that we got this week which i do think it's pretty interesting overall but that's about all the information that i have for you guys today if you are brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya